All right. We've we've swap. I'm swapping these out, putting the old fittings in. Top's got a check valve that goes in it. Go just like that, and then they'll match up with the plumbing on the inside. I'm gonna take my wires and tape them on this side. That way there won't be any interference. When I go to put it back in, I just use masking tape, tape it in place. And uh, once we get it in, then we're going to have to figure out where we're going to put the switch for this little wire right here. It's got to have 12 volts to it. And that's what turns your 120 on. Because the relay is over here. For those of you wondering, where is my DEL suburban water heater? Where is my relay that it shows? It's in that box right there. And screws bolted in, so if you ever have to replace it, there it is. But yeah, you have to pull the whole water heater out to get to the damn thing. Anyway, unless it's open on this side, which is usually not, I don't think. But anyway, we're getting it ready. Uh, I don't know why they call it 12 volt power, because it's not. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Um, all it really is is it's a switch to shut off the 110 or 120 to your water heater so you don't have to flip the breaker or once again the switch that used to be here if you've got the older de there'll be a switch ah hell i'm flipping up now hey you look right there there's your switch but what the orange wire does is it takes place of the switch and it gives your remote to put it in where you want and you don't have to come outside and shut it off. I may save this crap out of it, I don't know. But anyway, she served me well for 13 years. But I'm going to start flushing it and doing the stuff I should have been doing. Alright, let's get on with this. Another thing I want to add is I've used this for a long time. Rector Seal. Uh, Finn recommended it. He said most plumbers use it because they've never had leaks using it. And you know what? I haven't had leaks. So we're using it. Alright, back to the assembly. Alright, this is the part where I talk about plumbing it in, wiring it in. I'm not really going to show you how to do that because personally, if you're not confident enough to wire it in and plumb it in, you shouldn't even start this job. Sorry, but, you know, it is what it is. But uh, now to clean it up, I'm going to rub this down with alcohol. And the thing, too, and then rub this in here. I'm going to use urethane in here. That way it won't leak at all. The rest of it really don't need nothing except a little bit of silicone on the outside. And then a few screws. Secure it all in, cock it in, and voila, you're ready to go. All right, let's get the rest of it done, and then we'll look at the inside. All right, we're going to, I don't think this took, but if you look down in here, you can see the valve. That's the bypass valve. The, the one at the top, that's a check valve, so it'll only go one way. You can bypass your water heater. Uh, that way if you want to winterize your system you can certain other aspects of it but all that's been replaced put back in it was a pain in the butt getting the water heater in here and that tape over it's where it kind of tore the styrofoam you know that's a big difference from when they make it in the plant and everything uh, you can see I've got Oh shit, I don't know if you can see it right there. we go. You can see the box. Everything's in. The only thing we don't have is this. This little orange wire. And tomorrow I'm going to pull the cargo hold up. Then I'm going to come over here. And then if you'll look, the switch won't we'll have the fancy thing. There's a hole right there where my switch gonna go. And that way all I gotta do is flip this one, flip 
this light off and set the new light off and then the water heater will be off. They won't be having to go out, shut it off, or click the breaker off. So it's kind of a bonus. It's a little bit more of a pain to install than the regular DE, which just was gas and electric. But you can shut the electric off without having to either go outside and open the water heater and do it or cut your breaker off. So there you go. Okay. Put this light on. Here's the control panel. And if you notice, uh, you probably can't see. Yeah, you can see that hole now. Um, I'm going to feed the wire down through here. And it'll come down through the wall. It's open up and under here once you get below like here, something like that. And where the steps are. Let me turn them up. There you go. Just below the steps, it's open under there. I haven't opened it up yet. Uh, Alright, so here we are. In the belly of the beast. Put my light on. Let's see. Does this light work better? Probably. Oh no. Anyway. Every. Everyone's different. They cut a semi circle or whatever the hell it is. That's where my wires go. Uh, shit, I didn't turn the music off. Well, don't ban me, Facebook, because there's Wayland Jennings playing. But I gotta go from here, just over to there. Because that's the water heater. This is where all the crap is. This is where my furnace is. This is a, this is a Keystone Raptor 3912 LEV. It's a toy hauler. And this mess is what I've fixed so far of their crap. But... That valve still winds when I do it. And if you notice it's kind of brown, it's because I have a little rusty water. Nah, if I don't kill you, it makes you stronger. I grew up on rusty well water. <clears throat> anyway, this is my handy tool. Which I don't know if you can see it because I'm so close up in here. But I'm going to do this thing out. Go up in the hole. Catch it at the top. Pull my wire down. And then all I got to do is just run it from there to there and it's wide open I can get up in there and do what I need to do yeah. but let's get on that and uh, see what happens alright let's see what we got I just use these and that to tie into the ground that ties into the hot and then of course this orange wire wink wink oh it's red wire I didn't have orange so I just orange electrical tape I'm um, going we'll to have to get a hot glue gun in here and glue this up and let it sit. And then I'll put it back in place. But I ain't worried about it right now. Everything's working fine. Uh, coming around here. Get my crimper and my orange electrical tape. For this pesky orange wire you've been hearing about the whole time. Uh, it's red, but it's going to have orange tape on it. And it will hook this basically this orange wire takes the place of the switch out in the water heater right on the other side you know that switch it gets water in it and it quits working and blah 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 what they did is like I said over here in the box you can see it in the corner if you're up electric, please don't have a seizure on this account. But, um, that box over there. All right, I also want to add, when you're working on this, on the molding, you notice there's masking tape. If you look real close. Come on, baby, come on. What most of you don't realize is Darvey Industry uses MDF with paper grain wood fake wood grain on it so this is just mdf which is basically particle board and glue and then they put this nice fancy finish but if you notice it don't take much to scratch it i'm gonna try to make it look better but when you're doing it protect this wood because it's fake and it don't take much to mess it up because when the water heater leaked oh yeah 
I don't know if I told you this or not. It's been a while since I've done this project. Here's what it looks like now. Not very pretty, but you know what? My old camper is 13 years old. It looks new on the outside. It's lived in on the inside. It is what it is. There's junk everywhere, but I cleaned it up whenever she rolls out to go to a bike rally. Um, maybe I could hold it straight. I have to talk right next to the camera so you can hear me. So people go, okay, I hear you. Okay, well, don't. All right, next we're going to go outside and we're going to take the cover off and then come in and turn the 120 volt on. I do it like this. And then we're going to see if we're going to see if we have power out there. Double check. All right, be back. Okay. Try this one again. All right, I'm gonna try to get it in here. Come on, baby. 114 volts. Somewhere. That ain't touching. There we go. 114. I get it. It's hard to hold it and keep it blessed. Anyway, 120 volts. Uh, also, be sure to turn your breaker on when you're checking to make sure. I just want to check to make sure. But uh, we got water, we got hot water, yay. Uh, if you notice, there's always a little condensation down in here. Uh, if you got the opportunity to wait, if you noticed, they make a drip edge stuff that you put, which I guess it's all right, but I had urethane and that's what I used. And it looks like I'm gonna have to redo it. Oh well, big whoop. I think it'll eventually cure. Your thing takes a while. But anyway, that concludes it. Let's cut the power off to it, put the cap back on it, and uh, put the cover on it, and we are done. Well, I got a few parts on the inside I got to do. All right, have a good day. Everything's working fine. Be sure to check the anode. Mine was loose. That's where a lot of water was coming from. I went ahead and tightened it and then I had to clean redo the uh, urethane because it had been saturated with water and it didn't stick but it came up easy and redid that's in a follow up I hope this helps you you know because I was looking through all this I was like how 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 do, what is this 12 volt power what kind of you know I know electrical and I'm sitting here going you can't you're going to have to run like 4 gauge wire to get a 12 volt water heater but that's not what it is. It's just a remote switch for the electric. It's off, it's on. Versus, you know what it is. But they didn't tell me that. I looked at it, I researched it, I thought, what the crap? So I'm like, this is why I'm doing the video. I hope it helps you. And remember, on a suburban water heater, it doesn't matter if it's a 6 gallon, 10 gallon, 12 gallon, 16 gallon. They're all about the same, probably about the same size, it's just they're a little shorter, I think. It's got to be about the same opening, but the shorter the tank, the less gallons. Anyway, I hope this ugh, helps everything. I'm not good at making videos, but I thought you'd want to know. I like it. It's convenient. Have a good day.